In this video, we learn how to find the equation of the axis of symmetry of a parabola, that is, a quadratic function's curve, using its x-intercepts, which we also call zeros, and we also call them roots. And at the end of this video, we'll even extend the method we learn to finding the equation of the axis of symmetry using any two points on a parabola, provided they have the same y-coordinate. That being said, let's get started. To learn the method, I'm going to work through the examples we see here. Here's the idea. Looking at the first parabola we have here, its axis of symmetry splits the entire parabola in two. And looking at this parabola, we can see that it crosses the x-axis twice, here at 1 and here at 5. And since the axis of symmetry runs straight down the middle of these two values, we can use them to find its equation. And here's how. The equation of this axis of symmetry is x equals to the average of the two x values at which the curve crosses the x-axis. In other words, it's equal to 1 plus 5 over 2. And that's equal to 6 over 2. Finally, this parabola's axis of symmetry has equation x equals to 3. And we're done. And I can even label that x equals to 3. There we go. Looking at the next parabola we have here, we can see that it crosses the x-axis at negative 3 and at 1. And so using the same method, we can state that the axis of symmetry, which I'm drawing right now, there we go, has equation x equals to negative 3 plus 1 over 2. That leads us to negative 2 over 2. Finally, x equals to negative 1. And once more, I go ahead and box that result, and I'll label the axis of symmetry x equals to negative 1. Looking at one more example here, we can see that this parabola crosses the x-axis at 1 and at 7, and so without much effort we can find the equation of the axis of symmetry that I'm drawing right now. Indeed, its axis of symmetry has equation x equals to 1 plus 7 over 2, that's equal to 8 over 2, finally x equals to 4. Done. And again, I'll label the line x equals to 4. And the method we've just seen can be generalized with the following formula. Let me just make a bit of space, like so. We can go ahead and state that given a parabola that crosses the x-axis, which I'm drawing right now, that's my x-axis, in such a way that the parabola crosses the x-axis at two values, say p and q, then its axis of symmetry, which I'm drawing in a dotted line right now, has equation x equals to p plus q over two. And so if you want to memorize this with a formula, this would be the one to go for. And this method can in fact be extended. Indeed, consider the following parabola. I'm just drawing my xy grid here. There we go, that's my x and that's my y. And let's say we have a parabola doing something like this. And now let's say that I know the coordinates of two points along this parabola. The first one is here with coordinates 1, 6. And the second one is right here with coordinates 5, 6. Now, what's important to notice here is that both of these points have the same y-coordinate. Consequently, they both lie on the horizontal line I'm drawing right now, whose equation would be y equals to 6. Now, provided we have two points on a parabola who have the same y-coordinate, we can calculate the equation of the axis of symmetry that I'm drawing right now by calculating the average of the two x-coordinates of these points. So in this case, the average of 1 and 5. And so for this parabola, we could state that the equation of its axis of symmetry is x equals to 1 plus 5 over 2. That's equal to 6 over 2. Finally, x equals to 3. And there we go. And I can label that on my graph as well. x equals to 3. And this technique will always work provided the two points we're using have the same y-coordinate, which was the case here. Indeed, both of the points had a y-coordinate of 6, but it was also the case in the three examples we saw before. Indeed, all of these zeros, or x-intercepts, or even roots we had seen, all lay on the x-axis, and consequently all had the same y-coordinate. And so we see that all we need to find the equation of the axis of symmetry of a parabola are two points on the parabola with the same y-coordinate. And those points can be zeros, like what we saw initially, or they can be two points like the ones we saw here. And there we go. We now know another method for calculating the equation of the axis of symmetry of a parabola. And that's it for this tutorial.